Welcome to a new video everybody, I hope you're doing well. I think especially with aquascaping and the plant and aquarium hobby, a 60cm tank is like the most popular size. I'm currently in the process of setting one up myself, so I thought let's do a video on my favorite fish for this size aquarium. Let's get straight into it with fish number one, the neon green rasbora. I've been keeping these guys for a few months now and they are definitely a new favorite. They are not shy at all, they eat pretty much anything I feed them and their colors are absolutely amazing. I'm currently keeping them in a 45cm tank but I feel like it's a bit too small for them. So I'll move them to the 60 once it's cycled. Number 2 on the list is the dwarf pencil fish. This is a fish that I had kind of forgotten about. The clip that you're watching right now is actually from 2013 and that was the last time I kept them. I saw them again a few weeks ago when I was visiting a friend and I immediately got excited for them again. I was thinking of getting a small group of them for the big shallow but with the 60 green neons in there it's already quite busy. Number 3 on the list is the Ember Tetra, probably the most popular fish on this list and for good reason. The bright orange color is stunning and really makes them pop in a planted tank. I currently have about 30 of them in a 70 liter and I love it. It's a super hardy fish as well, I still have a few that are well over 3 years old. So yeah, very easy to keep and in my opinion the perfect fish for a 60 cm tank. On number 4 we have the sparkling gourami. This is a fish that I just never get bored with. It was one of the first fish I kept when I got into the plant aquarium hobby and over the years I keep coming back to them. I currently don't have them anymore but I really want to set up a tank just for them. The colors are amazing, the sound that they make always puts a smile on my face and their behavior is just super interesting to watch. They can be a little bit aggressive towards each other so in a 60cm tank I wouldn't add more than 5 or 6. On number 5 I just wrote down Dwarf Cichlid. I'm a big fan of Dwarf Cichlids and I think 60cm is sort of the first acceptable size for a pair. The most popular option is of course a German Blue Ram, but myself I'm leaning more towards the small Opistogramma. Dwarf Cichlids in general can be quite aggressive, especially when they're breeding, so if you want to keep these fish just make sure you have a lot of hiding places. Another perfect fish for a 60cm aquarium is the Neon or Cardinal Tetra. Me personally I'm a big fan of the Green Neon Tetra, just because they stay a little bit smaller compared to the regular Neon Tetra or the Cardinal Tetras. But yeah, all three of them are perfect fit for a 60cm tank. If you're going for the Green Neons, I would say 20 is a good number. With the regular Neons or Cardinals, I probably wouldn't add more than 15. Number 7 we have a fish that's not very popular, at least I don't see them very often. Number 7 is the gold ring Daniel or Daniel Tinwini. I guess the reason these guys are not as popular is because they are not as colorful as the more common zebra Daniel. But these guys just stay a little bit smaller and are just more peaceful. When I'm looking at regular zebra Daniels I always feel like these fish have ADHD or something and they're making me nervous. I didn't have that at all with the gold ring Daniels. On number 8 we have my most recent addition and another very popular fish, the Celestial Pearl Daniel. I think mine were actually spawning the other day. We have a heatwave in the Netherlands, so I changed my light schedule to 6.30am instead of 1pm. And when the lights turned on they were super active and chasing each other, swimming in the plants, in the moss. It was a lot of fun to watch. I'm currently keeping 6 in a 40cm aquarium, but in a 60cm tank you can easily keep 12 or so. Just a beautiful fish with very interesting behavior. On number 9 I wrote down Badis, and there's two types that I really like. 
first one is a smaller scarlet bodice and the second one is the slightly larger bodice species Myanmar or black tiger Dario. And just like the sparkling gourami, these are also fish that I just keep coming back to. The bright red color on these fish just really pops in a planted tank. And the way they behave is just super interesting to watch. The only problem with these fish is that they are very picky eaters. They basically never eat dry food, sometimes they'll eat frozen food, but if you really want them to shine you have to give them live food like Daphnia or brine shrimp. On number 10 I wrote down Pseudomugil. And here I again have two types that I really like and I think are perfect for a 60cm aquarium. The first one is the spotted blue eye or Pseudomugil getruda and the second one is the red neon blue eye or Pseudomugil luminatus. As you probably figured out by now, I like fish with interesting behavior. And these guys have that as well. Especially when the males are showing off to each other, it's just amazing to watch. The Gatrudas grow slightly bigger and are a little bit less colorful, but are usually easier to find and a little bit more affordable as well. They are very easy fish to keep as well and are not fussy eaters at all. Number 11 basically consists of three Coris, Corridoras hastatis, also known as tailspot Cori, Corridoras pygmaeus, also known as pygmy Cori, and Corridoras habrosus, also known as the salt and pepper Cori. I couldn't choose one favorite, and since I currently have all three of them, I thought let's just mention them all. All three of them only grow to a maximum size of 3cm, so you can definitely have a nice group in a 60cm aquarium. Now if you want a Cori that really stays in the bottom area of your tank, I would suggest to go with either the Pygmaeus or the Habrosus. The Hastatus is much more of an active swimmer and will also kind of swim in the mid area. But yeah, all three of them are just super cute. Now the last four on this list are fish that I actually never kept myself. But all four of them are very high on my list of fish that I want to keep. On number 12 we have the Threadfin Rainbow. This fish has pretty decent colors, but again their behavior is what makes me excited for them. I'll leave a video on top of the screen right now that really shows the behavior that I'm talking about. I did a little bit of research on them and most websites say that these are not beginner friendly fish. And I guess that's because they are picky eaters and prefer soft water. But yeah, I definitely hope that I can set up a nice aquascape for these guys sometime soon. On number 13 we have the Golden Dwarf Bar. Again I never kept these guys before, but they are definitely on my list. I actually almost bought them for the 40cm aquascape that I set up recently, but then I noticed that they actually grow a little bit bigger than I thought. So a 60cm tank would definitely be the better option. On number 14 we have the Ruby Tetra. This was another contender for the 40cm aquascape, but again, I thought it would be a bit too small for them. Now this is one of those types of fish that you will easily just walk by in the store because they're usually very pale in those selling tanks. But once you add them to a planted tank where they will feel comfortable, they will really show their true colors. Again, not really a beginner friendly fish. They seem to be a little bit sensitive and prefer soft water. And lastly on number 15 we have the White Cloud Mountain Minnows. I don't know why I never kept these guys before. I guess maybe because they are so common, I kind of just thought that they were too basic. But I think this is a fish that you will only really appreciate once you've kept them. It seems to be a really easy fish to keep and easy to breed as well. So yeah, another one that's on my list and hopefully I will get to keep them soon. That's it, my 15 favorite fish for a 60 cm aquarium. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which ones is your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.